hello guys and welcome to the channel in this video i am going to show you how you can have your own translation api all offline in your browser privately and locally and all for free normally when we try to get these things installed on our local systems we have to deal with some of the external apis like google translate or there are lots of them but the beauty of this Liber Translate tool is that it enables you to have all of it all local without any external API key. Interestingly enough, this word Liber, it comes from French and it means free. In the context of software, Liber often implies open source and free to use. This Liber Translate library is based on Argos Translate which is an open source offline translation library written in Python and it is not a new library, it is quite old, around 4 to 5 years old and has evolved a lot. Argos Translate uses OpenNMT for translation and can be used as either a Python library, command line or GUI application. It supports installing language model packages which are zip archives with a Argos model extension. There are a lot of supported languages which are already there and it is evolving a lot. As of now, it supports languages like Arabic, Azerbaijani, Czech, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Slovak, Russian, Ukrainian, Swedish, Turkish, Japanese and the list goes on and on. It is all open source and free. If you want to include your own language, all you need to do is to go to Argos Translate's page and contribute to their repo. Even you can request your own language. Enough talk. Let's go now and try to get this thing installed. Before I do that, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you're looking to have your own GPU, then I will drop the link to their website in video description where you can rent GPUs on very affordable prices. I will also give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now let me take you to my terminal where I am running Ubuntu 22.04 and I have one GPU card NVIDIA RTX A6000. Let me clear the screen. In order to get this installed, let's first create a separate uh, ubuntu user let me add it so user add command is to just add this new user called as liber translate okay so i would need to do sudo here because i am not or maybe i'll just go with a root user to make it simple okay now i am root as you can see or you could just simply use sudo anyway so let me create this new user i'm just calling it user add liber translate let's create a home directory for it this is the home directory let's give all the permissions or the ownership of this directory to this new liber translate user with its group and then let's also set the settings for it for all the permission and stuff and now let's change the password of this new liber translate user it has been changed and now we can switch as a liber translate user which we have just installed now if you just type here who am i you will see that it is liber translate let me clear the screen now let's create a conda environment hopefully i will have the rights with liber translate to create it okay so because conda is not globally installed so i'm not going to do it so let's even leave it for the purpose of uh, this video next up let's git clone the repo of liber translate and i will drop the link to it in video's description so you see that it is simple git clone command which i am doing and the repo has been cloned here and if you just do present working directory here you will see that we are already in the liber translate and if you do ls-ltr you will see that there are few scripts which you can run now first up let's change the permission of the setup file we'll, we are just making it executable so that we could run it and now in order to start it locally and do all the initial setup all we need to do is to run com this command setup.sh let me run it 
and it is going to download some packages and install a lot of stuff so let's wait for it to finish it is going to take fair bit of time so after installing all the prerequisites now it is downloading the models as you can see in all the languages and it seems there are 88 languages it is supporting at the moment and it is downloading all of them and by the way up till this point because i was pausing the video it has taken around 20 minutes to install all the prerequisites so it is taking fair bit of time anyway so let's wait for all of these languages models to get downloaded and it took a bit of a time but now you can see that it has loaded the support for 44 languages and i think it is bi-directional so that is why 88 models have been loaded and now it is running on our local host at port 5000 so let me take you to the browser and then try to access it and there you go you can see that our own translation api with liber translate is running locally at port 5000 and here you can see that you can uh, translate from auto detect and it is going to translate in any other language so maybe i'll just say hola here okay so it says that the server encountered an error let's see what is the uh, okay let's go back to what terminal to i'm just opening my terminal hang on maybe it is still loading so let's wait for a couple more minutes yeah it is still loading and there you go so you just have to wait for two to three minutes so for all the models to get loaded and then as soon as that loaded uh, you just uh, type any sentence here like i have done hola it has auto detected that it is spanish and then it is converted into english let's try out a few other languages let's try out simplified chinese here let's wait for it that is correct this is i love you let's try out another language next up let's try urdu language which is a national language of pakistan there you go so it says peace is a peaceful state that is true it brings joy and joy which is difficult to leave behind finding peace in ourselves makes life truly godly it is okay i mean not perfect but i would say uh, very very close okay let's try out another language and next up i am translating the thai language and it has perfectly detected it thai and the translation is also awesome let's try out our uh, marathi language which is from india okay so it hasn't given me any english translation maybe it doesn't recognize that language that is fine let's try out another one i'm going to try the azerbaijani language which is a central asian language now it says turkey which is very close to it mm, but the translation is, is not correct so it's an azerbaijani but it is saying that it is turkish and the translation is not correct in my opinion but if you are azerbaijani and if you think this is correct let me know okay let's try out one more so you see that I just gave it Czech language and it detected the language and the translation is also really awesome, spot on. Okay, let's try out a Bangla language which is from Bangladesh. Yes, it, it has uh, identified it Bengali and the translation is also spot on. So amazing stuff, you see that it is running on your local system and it is translating it most of the languages which I have given it without any API all local all private all free similarly you can even grab your files of your languages and then translate it simply click on this translate files and then you see it supports txt pptx and docx lot of other files so maybe if i click on this file here and then these are my files i'll just select this italy one.txt this contains some italian text let's click on translate i'll just say allow okay so it says it it doesn't support it at the moment maybe i don't know why so i will just try one more time maybe it was auto click on translate no so it's not supported it seems privately anyway but at least you can just uh, try it out in this box and it works perfectly fine so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel 
If you are already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.